Welcome everybody, konnichiwa. Today we're going to be looking at an article from NHK Easy talking about textbooks in Japan. Here's a lesson sheet for today you can find in the YouTube description box. So today it's 26 nichi, 11 gatsu, 2018 nen. Alright, first off we'll just go through our word list because we've got quite a few words in this that we have to understand to really understand this article. So first we have a bit of a tricky one. This is Monbu Kagakusho. And this is just the Federal Ministry of Education, Associate Culture, Sports, Science and Technology, just kind of the Ministry of Education in, in Japan. Whenever we have um, this shore, this guy here, shore, this is generally a government department. We've also got Kyokasho to the textbook. Oku. Now this is a bit of an interesting verb. It kind of means to put or to place something, but we're going to see it's got this kind of secondary meaning in this article where it's you leave something behind, okay? Because this article is about telling Japanese kids that they're allowed to leave their textbooks at school instead of bringing them home with them. Uh, next one we have is kaeru. This is to return home, to go home. We have shogako, chugako, so primary school and a junior high school. We have saikin, so recently, these days, we have atsui, so this is a thick, as in a thick book, and jugyo. Continuing on, we have tsukao, this is to use, we have dogu, this is a kind of a broad word in Japanese. In this instance, it's being used to refer to things like stationery, everything that you kind of need for school, so we'll see they talk about calligraphy sets, notebooks, all these kind of things. We also have fueru, which is to increase this kind of phrase, no naka ni wa, which is kind of among these things. We see in the article it says among the primary schools and junior high schools. We have ie for house, motte kaeru. All right, this is a combining of two verbs. We have motsu, which is to hold something, and we put that in the te form, so it becomes motte, and then we add to it kaeru which we saw before, which is to go home. So, motte kaeru, to take something home. We have iu, which is to say something. Next, we have a randoseru. This is a firm-sided backpack made of leather. It's normally used by primary school aged children in Japan. And we're gonna see a picture of it a bit later. I think it's from the Dutch word. Uh, we have nimotsu, which is luggage or bags. Or moi, an e adjective, this means heavy. Koshi, this is a body part, kind of our back or our lumbar region. We have itai, this is a e adjective which means something hurts or it's painful. Kodomo, for child. Hoshi, for wanted or desired. Nihonju, notice the pronunciation there. It's, I know this kanji is normally read as chu at the end here, but here it's got kind of a special meaning. And this, when we have this ju uh, like this on the end of a word, it means all throughout. So Nihonju is all throughout Japan. We can have a similar one, Sekaiju, which is all over the world. Okay, last few, we have Tatoeba, just means for example. Shukurai, this is a homework. We have Rikoda, this is the kind of plastic flute that many of you may have played in primary school. Uh, we have Shodo, this is the word for calligraphy. Kagi, now this word's a little bit confusing in Japanese. It both means a key and a lock. So it's, I know these are two kind of separate objects, but really you will see that it says something like Kagi ga aru kyoshitsu. So it's saying classrooms that have a lock. I mean, it kind of means they have a key, but the key doesn't really stop you getting in the room, does it? Uh, Kyoshitsu, just mentioned this one. So notice we've got this, this kyo sound again. We had kyo kasho right at the top and kyoshitsu, same kanji, means to teach. So we have a kyo kasho, this is a textbook, and kyoshitsu, a teaching room, so a classroom. And finally we have tsukue, which is a desk. Okay, so let's read our headline first. So we've got monbu kagakusho. And our date here we have Kugatsu Yoka. Alright. So the first thing to notice, I guess, is we've got the picture. And this picture, this shows our randoseru, right? This red bag here is a randoseru. Very uh, common for 
uh, children in primary school to have this bag. It's only made out of leather or vinyl, something like that. So whenever you see kids walking around with this bag, you can be pretty sure you know about how old they are. Okay, so what's this headline doing? Well, we have the Monbu Kagakusho, our Ministry of Education, and then we get our Japanese square brackets. And then this is saying that the, the Monbu Kagakusho is saying the following thing, which is Kyokasho o Gakko ni oite. Okay, Gakko ni oite. So, oite, to leave something. And we're leaving it where? Well, ni is telling us at gakko. So, leaving them in the school. So, kyo kasho o gakko ni oite. So, leave the textbooks in the school. Kaite mo i. Now, kaite is our te form of to refer, uh, return home. And kaite mo i, this is a grammar point uh, about permissions, okay? So we get our TEF form, we add a MO, and then we add the word E, for example. So it's saying, it's good even if you return home while leaving your books at school. All right, so we see that this is what the Ministry of Education is telling the kids now. Okay, so let's start reading it through our first paragraph and see what's going on here. So we have, 小学校と中学校では最近教科書が熱くなって 授業に使う道具も増えています。しかし、小学校と中学校の中には教科書などを学校に置かないで家に持って帰るように子供たちに言っている学校があります。このため、ランドセルなどの荷物が重くて腰が痛くなる子供もいます。all right, so where should we start? Well, whenever we're translating long Japanese sentences, it's always good to start from the end. So what have we got here? Fuete imas. All right, fuete imas. So this means to increase. So something's increasing. What is it? This is increasing. Jugyo ni tsukau dogu. Now, jugyo, this is our uh, class. Tsukau, this is to use. And dogu, this is kind of our generic term for stationary and things like this. So, jugyo ni tsukau dogu. So, the, basically the materials which are being used in class. Mo fuetemas. So, these are also increasing. And what else? Kyo kasho ga atsukunatte. All right, well, kyo kasho, this is our textbook. This is what the whole article is about. Atsukunatte. What's going on here? Well, atsu, uh, atsui in our word list was to become thick. And natte, this is our te form of naru. Okay, now atsui is basically, well, it is acting as an adverb here. An adverb is a fancy term for just like an adjective that works on a verb. Okay, so it's not just becoming something, it's becoming thicker. All right. The adverb is kind of adding a bit more detail to our verb here. So, kyo kasho ga atsuku natte. And if we follow our take him guide, ga is like the thing that or the one that. So, the textbooks are the thing that or the things that are getting thicker. All right? The ga is kind of being very specific and pointing this out for us. Uh, that the textbooks are the things which are getting thicker. And then what else we got? Shogakko to Chugako dewa. Well, de, just a de particle, it's the context in which something is taking place. Wa is our as for particle, okay? So this often um, freaks out some of my students when they see dewa or niwa or some kind of combination like this. Um, all I would say is that it's just one particle and another particle uh, being combined. So you get both of their powers if you want to think of it that way. So what is setting this up as a topic, and what is it saying? Well, at these schools, saikin. So as for at these schools, recently, textbooks are becoming thicker, and the materials, that the stationery, etc., that we use in classes is also increasing. So next one. Let's go right to the end. Okay. So we got ga arimas. So there is something. What is there? Gakkou ga arimasu. So there are schools. Kodomo tachi ni 
言ってる学校 So this might seem a little bit strange, but we've got 子供たちに言ってる So に remember is our target particle So 言ってる is the progressive tense, the ongoing,、um, basically it is being said, ing kind of thing. And so what's being said? Well, we don't really know what's being said, but it's being said to the children because ni is our target particle here. And so ni says the target of this verb is kodomo tachi, so children. All right, so there are schools saying something to children. Like I said, we don't know what it is yet. So, what is it? Well, it's kind of a long sentence. We've got kyo kasho nado o gakko ni okanai de ie ni motte kaeru yoo ni. Alright, this, this whole phrase is what is being said to kids. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, yoo ni. This is kind of make an effort or do something in a way that it achieves X outcome. Kind of wordy, but basically make an effort to do something. And then what? Motte kaeru. Well, this is in our word list to, to take something home.、Um, ie ni motte kaeru. So take something, make an effort to take something home. And we can see what this thing is going to be. But what is it? Kyo kasho nado. Okay, now nado, probably should put this in the word list, but nado is etc. So things like textbooks, textbooks, etc. O gakko ni okanai de. All right, so a bit of a revision, but we've got oku as the verb. So, okanai is the plain negative. So, gakko ni okanai de, the TEF form. So, don't leave your materials and books at school. Ie ni motte kaeru yo ni. Make an effort to bring all them home. And this is what the, the schools were saying basically to the kids, or I guess some schools are still saying it. So, bring all your books home with you every single day. All right, and we see, we can tell from the headline that this is not what the Ministry of、uh, Education really wants the kids to do anymore. All right, so, shikashi, just kind of a fancy word which means, however, shogako to chugako no naka ni wa. Basically, among some schools, right? Among primary schools and、um, junior high schools in Japan, they're saying to the kids, hey, don't leave your books at school, always bring them home. Last one, we got kono tame, randos deru. Okay, so what do we got? Koshi ga itaku naru kodomo mo imas. Okay, again another mo saying there are also you know, mo imas, our existence verb. So there are children who exist. Koshi ga itaku naru. Now this is exactly the same as what happened up here. We've got an adverb. Alright, so we've got itai, this is to hurt. Itaku naru. So it kind of becomes hurting, a little bit weird in English. But you know, the itai is an adverb of naru. So there are kids who are starting to have kind of problems with their lower back and their back and their hips and this thing. Why? Well, because their backs are getting heavy. So we see, rando seru naru no nimotsu ga omokute. Now we see this word of naru again, it's etc. So, think rando seru, which is our kind of red backpack we saw in the picture right at the very top. So, it's saying basically all their luggage, right? Nimotsu ga o mokute. So, their, their luggage is、um, their, the, the bags and all these kind of things that they're carrying around with them are getting heavy, and then this is causing some back issues. We've got kono tame, which is、um, for you know, basically flowing from all this stuff that came before. Last paragraph. We have Monbu Kagakusho wa Kyo Kasho nado o oite kaite mo i yo ni ste hoshi to Nihonju no gakko ni yu koto ni shimashita. Tatoeba, shukurai de skawanai kyo kasho ya, recorda ya, shodo no dogu nado wa, kagi ga aru kyo shitsu no tsukue ya, rokka ni oite kaite mo i koto ni suru yo ni imas. All right, so again, we've got our Ministry of、um, Education talking, you know, they're the topic of the sentence. All right, so we start from the end here. We've got, you koto ni shimashita. You koto ni shimashita. Now, I've done a whole video on this ni shimashita, but this ni shimashita talks about a conscious choice, basically, that the Ministry of Education has made, right? We see we've got, monbu kagakusho wa. Setting up as the topic and then the verb at the end. This is, this, this is almost always going to be the verb that they're doing. So they've made a choice. You know, we don't know what the choice is, but what is it? 
日本中の学校に言うことにしました。So they made a choice to say this thing to all schools throughout Japan. 日本中の学校 All schools throughout Japan. So what is it that they want to say? Well, this whole sentence here. 教科書などを置いて書いてもいいようにしてほしいと。So we see this is a bit of a difference in policy now. So this is a grammatical point when we have hoshi after a te form like this. It's the, basically the monbu kagakusho is showing a desire that they want something to happen. And what is the thing they want to happen? Kyo kasho nado, so things like textbooks, you know, or like calligraphy and all that kind of stuff. Or oite kai demo i. So we see that this is a different、um, phrase now. It's not okanai anymore. So it's oite kai demo. So the, the monbu kagakusho is basically saying, kids, leave your stuff at school now. Don't bring it home with you. So oite, leave it, kai demo i. And it's good. Yoni shite hoshi. So they desire that、um, kids start doing this, right? They want a change in behavior. Then we got to iu koto ni shimashita, right? So this is what they're saying. This whole line here is what is being said. This to is kind of like a quotation mark. Then we've got tatoeba shukurai de tsukawanai kyo kasho. So for example, shukurai de tsukawanai kyo kasho. All right. So, again, good usage of our de particle here. Shukudai de tsukawanai kyo kasho. Textbooks not used for homework in the context of homework. Ya, so we've got a bit of an incomplete list here. So, these are just、uh, certain examples given by the Monbu Kakakusho. It's, it's not an exhaustive list. We've got recorda, so that flute thing I was mentioning before. Ya, shodo no dogu. So, Shodo no dogu is kind of like everything you need to do calligraphy with. So that includes like the ink pot, the little、um, the brush, the,、uh, the, the, the like、ink well thing. So all those kind of things that you need. Wa kagi ga aru kyo shitsu no tsukue. Now I mentioned this before from the word list, but kagi ga aru kyo shitsu basically saying lockable classrooms. Classrooms that you can lock the door on. No tsukue. So it's kind of saying, Uh, desks in lockable classrooms. Ya,、yeah, again, it's another par- impartial list where it's just giving some suggestions of what's on the list. Rokka. Okay, so we can live in the desk or the locker, which will obviously probably also have a lock on it. Ni oite kaite mo i koto ni suru yo ni imas. All right, so they're saying this. What are they saying? For the desks and lockers? Ni oite kai demo i. So it's kind of repeating the first line. You can leave them in these areas and go home. And it's fine. Kai demo i. It's okay. Koto ni suru yo ni. All right. So this is slightly different. But again, we've got koto ni suru. So they're making a choice. But suru yo ni i mas. It's kind of like a, a bit of、um, a recommendation, right? Saying, hey, Kids, you can leave them in your locker or leave them in a classroom that can be locked. You don't have to bring your、um, books home with you. So, this is kind of giving a bit of a recommendation. Okay, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. These NHK articles are really good vocab builders and good、um, practice of N5 and N4 JLPT level kanji. So, check them out.、Uh, you can turn the furigana off and on. Otherwise, I'm going to continue to read through the articles so you guys get some effective study materials in case you're struggling with this kind of stuff. Leave a like and、uh, subscribe to the channel if this video helped you out, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Wow, wow.